Right, the hemispheres and bases have arrived. Um, these are the hemispheres. They came on a sheet of six. So there are six of these per sheet. I've just cut them into singular squares so I can work with them. And also these are the these are the bases that came with it. So basically, I've just cut this one out roughly just for now. Once these bases are fastened to the Dalek skirt, that simply pushes in there and it's a, it's a decent snug fit. So what I'm going to do next, I can't, I can't get that out a moment. What I'm going to do next, I'm going to make a jig, a wooden jig so that I can cut these off, uh, off all exactly the same. Um, just cut round this, just cut round here and make them about nine millimeters deep. Because at the moment they're about 20, they don't need to be that. So uh, I'll make a jig up, get those cut, and also these uh, these domes. I'll be able to use the same jig for these domes just to get a clean cut all the way around and make each one identical. So I'll uh, I'll make a wooden jig, and then I'll uh, come back and show you the result. Cheers. Okay, right. I've got the uh, jig made. So basically, it's just two th two thin pieces of plywood bolted together and the top, top one I've cut a 105mm hole and I put the cutter right through the the, uh, the central drill to get the centre uh, of the hole as well so the idea is is to put that in there as you can see down there and then run a blade down there so I'm going to make a little recess in this for a handle so I can hold it. I can hold it like that and run a hacksaw down down that edge and cut that to that. And that's going to be a bit to the right depth then. Uh, in reality, it'll look like this. It'll look like that. Sit, sit that in there. I've put holes through, through each one so I'll actually bolt it in place through there put a nut on the back here so uh, so that's what I'll do and that'll cut all them down um, I've actually used this as a template to drill all the holes out in these I've basically put that on there put that on there so that it goes over like so inside and drill a hole through there giving me 60 of these with a hole in the middle so they're all identical so that's the plan anyway um, I think when I do the domes I'll separate these two pieces of plywood I'll lay the dome on the bottom one and then I'll put this piece over the top and uh, and then bolt it together and then I can I can get a blade and cut down there then that will give me a completely straight uh, straight edge on the dome so uh, I'll make a start on that, um, and then I'll uh, I'll come back to you and show you the results. Cheers. Okay, that's uh, that's the first one cut out. I've put a big square washer on there just to hold it in place so it doesn't flex. And a wing nut on the other side that's really tight, so it don't go anywhere. I've held it up like that, and I've run the axle straight down there. So that is the. Uh, is the first one so that's looking good so that's exactly how I need the others to be with that depth so I've got uh, I've got 59, 59 more of those to cut and then I need to look at some sort of method to cut the hemispheres as well to get them all uh, all equal so I'll crack on and get these with the 59 done and I'll come back to you in six months cheers right I've, uh, I've got all these hemispheres complete now as you can see I use that same jig to cut the actual hemisphere parts down, so um, they're all fitted. I've glued a six millimeter bolt through the center of each one. Glue, oh, glued the hemispheres to the base plate and literally just screwed them in. So yeah, I think they look pretty good. Just have a show around here. So yeah, starting to look a little bit more like a Dalek now. So uh, on each side, when I get it out at workshop, these four will have to be unscrewed so I can get through the doorway 
so so that's that's why I've done it that way so they just come off and go back on easily enough so uh, so that's that um, what I'm going to crack on we now is uh, the plunger and uh, and some mesh around for around the neck bin so the plunger's going to go here where this is and the mesh I need to get some mesh sorted out to go on the inside of this so I might use the mesh that I've got I've used for this and spray it black so it's important for for these sections at the bottom here that I can see through clearly so I'll devise some sort of a method anyway and I'll come back to you in a bit cheers <laughs> 